T-minus six minutes and counting. We may have a momentary hold at the five-minute point uh, because of the heaters. Pilot Guy Gardner reporting pre-start of the APUs is in work. T-minus five minutes, 30 seconds in counting. Mission Control has transmitted the signal to start the onboard flight recorders. At T-minus five minutes, the orbiter test conductor will ask pilot Guy Gardner to start the auxiliary power units, which move, provide hydraulic power for steering and controlling flight surfaces. Eight seconds away from T-minus five minutes. T minus five minutes and counting. Pi Pilot Guy Gardner now flipping the three switches in the cockpit to start each of the three APUs. Activation is complete. Commander Hoot Gibson has been asked to reconfigure the orbiter heaters for launch. T minus four minutes and counting. The main engine final purge sequence underway and the main engine valves being checked. The orbiter flight control surfaces such as elevon speed brakes and rudders being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to ensure they're ready for launch. T minus three minutes, 35 seconds and counting. All three engines uh, now being moved through a pattern uh, to verify their readiness to, and then they will be aligned to their start position. T minus three minutes, 19 seconds in counting. At T minus two minutes, 55 seconds, the start of the external tank liquid oxygen pressurization will begin. T minus three minutes and counting. We have just heard that a weather hold will be called uh, because of TAL sites, and we will hold the clock at 31 seconds. Ground launch sequencer has started to retract the uh, or should retract the gaseous oxygen vent hood at this point. That may not happen because of the hold. It is retracting. The crew has been asked to check the, uh, the crew has checked the caution and warning. The clearing is complete. T minus two minutes, seven seconds and counting. T minus one minute, 57 seconds and counting. The crew has been asked to close the airtight visors on their helmets and start the oxygen supply to their pressure suits. Liquid hydrogen replenish of the external tank is stopped and pressurization to flight level is underway. T minus one minute, 30 seconds and counting. The clock will stop at 31 seconds because of a weather hold at the TAL sites. The, at T minus one, uh, the ground launch sequencer will verify the shuttle main engines are ready to start. The liquid hydrogen tank now at flight pressure. T minus one minute and counting. The sound suppression water system now armed. That uh, pre-liftoff water is released at T minus 16 seconds. SRB joint heaters have also been turned off. Hydrogen uh, burn igniters have been armed. T minus 40 seconds and counting. External tank heaters to ET to orbiter structural attachments turned off. T minus 31 seconds. 
and holding. We have a go for auto sequence start. The SRB hydraulic power units have started and moving those engine nozzles T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. We have a go for main engine start. 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff. Atlantis begins another space voyage as it clears the tower. through maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Three engines now at 65%. Atlanta's been given a go at throttle up. All three main engines back up to 104%. Downrange distance seven nautical miles. Three good engines, three good APUs. Relative velocity about 2,900 feet per second. Downrange 12 nautical miles. Mark 1 minute 50, three engines up at 104%. SRB is separation. Now 31 nautical miles downrange. First stage performance nominal according to the flight dynamics officer that call made to the crew. They're now passing through 204,000 feet downrange distance, 46 nautical miles. 